morning, guys and gals. It is currently, I'm setting up. It's currently 32 degrees out and I'm heading to work. So I'm helping set up for volleyball, the volleyball game against the number three team in the country. And then after that, uh, I'll go back to my room. I'll probably, I should clean my room. So I'll clean my room, get that all set and figure it out. And then from there, I'll, I don't know, I'll probably, I'll edit a video and then kill time to play video games or something because I ain't got nothing to do. So I'll talk to you all in a bit. You look like that guy that does impressions on, like on TikTok? Yeah, what? send that to the What, what guy that does impressions? Look what I sent to the boss. Uh, I forgot his name. I like, used to see him. Seth's so, so undisinterested. Dude, it was like oh, second. You're chasing name. retro bowls. Second you're chasing main, retro so. bowls? Are you playing college or are you playing I don't regular? Know. Oh. Second main's like... Okay, this is for the vlog that's being posted on Sunday. Um, so, you guys probably saw some clips. I worked today, and that was kind of the big thing, was I woke up, I worked, I got back, went to McDonald's, got food, came back here, ate food. I was like, I'm tired. Went and slept. And I slept until like 7.30. I don't remember what time I went down. I think I went down at 5.30. But I was on my phone until like, I ate. Watched some YouTube, went down for at like 5.30, woke up at like 7.30. I, I slept for two hours. Um, then I hung out with the boys for a few hours. Um, they moved into a different dorm, and so that dorm is very nice and a fun hangout spot. So I got to hang out with some boys from 2nd Main, which was the guys from last year. Um, so with that, I'm going to edit the video that's needed to be posted technically yesterday, but today for me. And then from there, I'm going to read, do my Bible reading, break it down for you guys, and that will be it for episode 21. Yeah, episode 21. Wait. Episode 21. So that's the, the plan and the dealio. That was the move that made LeBron cry. I, I, yeah. Um, so I will... Talk to you guys about the Bible reading after I'm done editing the video. You're getting a very tired red Bible breakdown because it's currently like 2 20 something. So, AM. AM. I need to preface that AM. It's, it's Sunday, but it's technically still Saturday for me. So, read Matthew 5 through 7, which was the Sermon on the Mount, which, holy crap, there's this. Like, you could legitimately have a whole series of these, th like, three chapters. Like, you could do a summer series, like, from a church perspective. You could do a summer series on the Sermon on the Mount and just break down. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Like, you can break down all these things and have full sermons on each of these topics. Now, the thing that I'm kind of going to discuss is good works, which is interesting. Um, because... On the Sermon on the Mount, it talks about the salt and the light. And then it says, it starts in verse 14 of chapter 5. It says, You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives light to all the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to the Father who is in heaven. Which, in, in this regard is what reminds me that of James. And this is when you get brought into James and you have verse 217, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's, I know I have it highlighted in here and I would bet money is 216. 217, I mean 217. 217? 217? So also, also by itself, if not, if it does not have works, is dead. So also faith by itself, it, if it does not have works, is dead. This is what I imagine James is talking about when he writes to us: is this, this, this good works that we that people witness and people see. Here's how I'm going to wrap this all up with works. Then in chapter seven, verse twenty-four, it opens. It it talks about. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and does does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. Now, this is Jesus prefacing all.
all of all of what he just said of living out what he's saying and what he was 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 like saying with with this whole thing and the authority that he had when it talks about the works when it talks about good works when it talks about glorifying god through our works through how we act through our actions because that's yeah through, through our actions yes in the same way let your light shine so that others may see your good works and give glory give glory to the your father who is in heaven because people see who we are by our fruits that's where it's a big thing as people see it through our works and through our fruit and through our fruits big difference between and, and and there also needs to be the understanding that this is not for salvation this is not for anything this is to glorify god and by how you act glorifying god through your action glorifying god through how you speak through how you treat others through how you serve others it's all it's 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 all to glorify god all of it is to glorify god but then going back to the everyone everyone then who hears the words and like Wise man built a house on the rock. God is, God and Jesus, Jesus is emphasizing in this that what He is giving is the foundation for life. If you live by these tenets, by these principles, you will have like you will have a strong foundation. Doesn't mean you won't go through storms. It doesn't mean you won't go through these issues because it even says it says and the rain fell and the floods came and the wind blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. It doesn't say, oh, because it was built on the rock, it didn't have problems. No, it said it went through these problems, but it still stood. Jesus gives us a framework to have a strong foundation, a firm foundation, to be able to build a house that will withstand and will be able to glorify God. Jesus lays it out for us in these three chapters. And... There's so much I wish I could still talk about because it's just, it's fa it's fantastic. I just can't fit it all in this one video. <laughs> so, but I kind of just wanted to emphasize like <coughs> the three things, the three takeaways. Glorify God through, how, through our actions, through our works, through who, who, how we act, how we are. Follow Jesus, what Jesus lays out for us and he's giving us foundation not to make life easy, but to be able to withstand life and be able to stand strong through life. And third, what was the third? What was the third? What was the third? Why was I? I I'm drawing a blank because I knew I talked about a third. I don't know what the third was, but God priority, being first, you know, glorifying him. Those are all the things. But let's end in prayer and then I'm going to bed because I'm exhausted. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you for just everything that you've given us, Lord. Thank you that you were able to lay out everything, Lord, that we may follow, that we may have a firm foundation in you, Lord, that when the rains come, when the wind blows, that you will be able to, that we will be able to stand strong through you. Lord, I pray for healing, Lord, for anyone who needs it, Lord. Lord, I pray for just, once again, purpose and guidance, Lord. Lord, and I pray that you continue to allow us to make you first in our lives. In your heavenly, holy, and mighty name, amen. Blessings.